So we're doing multiplication in base 9 today. Uh, this would be, this we begin this the same way we begin in base 10. So we begin with the ones place 8 times 6, which would be 48. Now 48 is 5 groups of 9 plus 3 leftovers. All right, so 5 groups of 9 would be 45 plus the 3 would be 48. Now our next uh, calculation would be the 1s times the 9s place. So 6 times 8, which would be 48 again. But then we've got these 5 that were part of the answer from the first, the first um, place value. So that would be 53 altogether. So that would be, again, 5 groups of 9, but this time 8 leftovers. Okay, so 45 plus the 8 is 53. All right. And then uh, 5 times nothing, there's a 0, so then you could just bring down the 5. If you don't want to carry it up here and you just want to bring it down right away, if you're at the end of your calculations, that's perfectly fine too. Okay, and put a line through that so we don't get confused as we move to the next group here. So now we're going to begin multiplying 9s times 1s and 9s times 9s, which means that we're over in the next place value. So we're going to bump our answer over, one place value. So 4 times 8 gives us 32. Now 32 would be 3 groups of 9 and 5 leftovers. All right, because that's 27 plus 5 would be 32. Here we've got 4 times 8, which is 32, plus 3 more, which would be 35, which would still be 3 groups of 9. Now we have 8 leftovers. Now I don't know if you noticed as you were going through here, but I did um, when I had, um, since I'm getting the same number, I've got a double 8 here. The 6 times 8, which was 48, left me with 3 leftovers, 5 groups of 9, 3 leftovers. When I did 6 times 8 and I added 5 more, then my leftovers were 5 more. And I didn't have enough to make a whole group of 9, but um, I did see the leftovers increase. Same here, we had the 34, uh, 32, which was 5 left over, 3 groups of 9, 5 left over. When I went, went to the next place value, 3 times or sorry, 4 times 8, uh, plus that 3 made our leftovers increase by 3. Not enough to make another group of 9, but just that relationship is interesting there. These, what you carried shows up in the amount of leftovers that you have. All right, so then we're at the end of the calculation. The 3 here can come down. All right, and now we do our addition in base 9. So 3 plus 0 is 3. 8 plus 5, I'm seeing 8 plus 1 is a 9 with 4 leftovers. So one group of 9, 4 leftovers, or you can think of it as 13, which is a 9 and 4. Here I've got, here's my 8 and 1, there's a group of 9, 5 leftovers. Okay, and then 1 plus 4 is, or sorry, 1 plus 3 is 4. I gave it away before I was done. Okay, so now if we want to check this, we can translate to base 10. That's one way to do it. So if I was going to translate this top number, we've got a 1's place and a 9's place. So that's 8 groups of 9, which is 72 plus 8, so 72 plus 8 would be 80, base 10. 46, or 4, 6, base 9 would be 4 groups of 9, which would be 36, plus 6 leftovers, which would be 42. All right. Now if we want to, um, the, the easiest or the best way to do this then is to take that, sorry, take that last number and go straight over to the end and see what we've got there. Now, as we go up, these are going to be a little more complicated. We've got some more place values to think about here. We've got 1s, 9s, 81s, and 2 73s. Sorry, 2 79s. Right? 7 29s. I'm feeling a little dyslexic today. There it is. Okay. So that last number would be 4 groups of 729 plus 5 groups of 81 plus 4 groups of 9 plus 3. Okay, I'm just going to go to the side on the calculator and figure out what that looks like. So 4 times 729 is 2916. 5 times 81, that's 405, and then we've got 36 here and 3 more. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that all together. Oh, 
Okay, we get 3,360. So that's what the answer should be. So now to check this then, we would take 80 times 42 and make sure that that's what, uh, that that comes out to be 3,360. So if you want to do that on the side or if you want to do it, you could probably do this in your head. But you can, you're welcome to use a calculator if you want to. And when we check that out, it does actually check out. Uh, the 80 times 40 would be 3,200 and 80 times 2 would be 160. So that comes out to be 3,360. All right. I apologize for the waviness of this. I don't have my videographer today, but uh, we got through it.